When it comes to tomato suckers, some people always remove all of them, some people never remove any of them, and I'm right in the middle. I remove some of them. In this video, I'll explain why. So I want to talk about whether or not it makes sense to remove the suckers from tomato plants. And suckers are those shoots that always emerge right between the main stem and the branch, typically at a 45 degree angle. Old school thinking is that by removing the suckers, you focus more energy on the parts of the plants that are remaining, which translates into bigger, better tomatoes. And while that is true that the less of a plant that you have to take energy from, more energy is going to what's left. If you leave it, it's producing energy too because all of the foliage remaining is photosynthesizing, so it's creating its own energy, and it's also going to produce tomatoes. So it's kind of six and one half dozen of another. In my case, I remove suckers that I feel are going to be crowding the plant. My main focus is to make sure that I have adequate light and air circulation into the plant. But if I need to get more light and air into the plant, then I'm gonna look for suckers that I can take out, and that's an easy fix. So my finger is on a sucker that I see as a great candidate for that. I love the development of this plant so far. It's very bushy, and at the same time, it's gonna to continue to get bushier if I don't remove some of the suckers. So this is a good time to take this one out right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you know, you can cut them out with some snips or you can just bend it and it snaps off very easily. So that was easy. And this is really a clone of that plant. This is a black cherry variety and this is going to be an exact duplicate of that plant. I can stick this in a container of moist soil and then uh, this will root and I'll have a new plant in about four weeks. I just keep it in some shade, moist soil, and I've got a brand new plant. So I do that a lot with my suckers. It's hard for me to get rid of one because I know this is a perfectly good plant. At the same time, if I left this on the plant, this will produce its own set of flowers, which become fruit. But my trade-off is to make sure I have good balance, plenty of light and air circulation, and then I thin from there. So as you're thinking about whether or not to remove your suckers, I would say the main thing to be thinking about is the overall health of the plant. You want to get that light and that air circulation in. You don't want to crowd out the plant. And if you don't remove any suckers, especially in a confined growing environment like this tomato cage, then you would likely want to remove about half the suckers so that you have plenty of room in here for all of that air circulation and light to happen. Other than that, I leave what I can so I have more tomatoes. Either way, you're gonna be fine and you're gonna get lots of tomatoes. Just give it the right growing environment and you'll be good to go.